Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the BDV N990, so I thought the best way to answer those questions is by just making a video demonstrating what the uh, Blu-ray DVD player does. So here it is now. So this is the actual unit here. Once you turn it on, uh, you get a digital text here, and it'll basically show you whether like you're using it as a DVD player or how much time is left in the movie that you're watching. Uh, here you'll get some digital buttons, just normal ones like play, pause, otherwise you can always use the remote. Uh, you, this is a slot where you put the, uh, the disc in. So this is your USB port here, in case you like to download movies, uh, you can download them and then insert your USB here and watch it, watch it using this uh, DVD player, the way DVD player. And then at the bottom here you've got this stand which you can take off or use if you want to, you just screw it there. And then you've also got this cover here which you can use to cover the uh, the wires. Just goes in like that. So I'll take that off for now so I can show you that what's behind this machine. Okay, so first of all you've got this transceiver here. And basically what this does is, uh, I'll show you a box later which also has a transceiver. And basically with this and with this transceiver and the other one also having a transceiver, it allows them to connect wireless and you can link the back speakers with this machine without recording any wires. So this player has a built-in Wi-Fi feature, but if you don't have Wi-Fi connection, then you can always connect via Ethernet. So you've got the Ethernet port here. You've got another USB port here. So you've got one here and one at the side. Uh, if you don't want to spend money on HDMI cables, you can connect via old school audio video. So you've got the left and right here and the video out. And then you've got three HDMI ports, one going out and two going in. And then you've got the TV optical. Uh, so this is for the ECM, which I think means audio calibration mark. I'm not sure if that's what it stands for. But basically you connect this part here. And what you use this for is when you're calibrating the speakers, it will tell you whether you've got the speakers in the right spot, that you haven't swapped the left one with the right one. Uh, you've got the antenna here for the radio. Uh, and then you've got the... Uh, here for the speaker so this is where you connect the front right speaker front left subwoofer and the center speaker that's it so I've been getting some questions about the wireless features of the speakers so hopefully this will answer it uh, so you've got the wireless I'm not sure what you call this but this box here it links up to that DVD player there blu-ray DVD player and uh, both of them has this transceiver I showed you what the other one had earlier, so they both have transceivers and they generally connect or they link wirelessly. That's the that's a wireless feature about it. So all you need to do is just plug this in. So you need another power point somewhere where you'll put your you know your surround speakers and the thing is uh it, it doesn't have to be connected to the to the main unit but you will have to connect your back speakers to these two ports here. So it's basically the same as connecting those four speakers there to the main unit there. So this is the part where I show you what the BDV N990W can actually do. So I've got the rear speakers behind me. You can see uh, the speaker set up at the front. You can see my iPhone there and I've also got a USB connected to the uh, player. So let's just zoom in. So if you get a PlayStation you'll notice that it basically looks the same. Uh, it's a Sony style thing. So you've got the Sony Entertainment Network here, SEN Home, uh, Music Unlimited, Video Unlimited. And if you've got a PlayStation account, you can use your PlayStation account to link to this. Basically, to be able to use these features, you have to be a member. You have to register. Uh, and then Music Unlimited lets you listen to as much music as you want, but then you have to pay. Uh, video Unlimited, you get to rent videos, movies. So you've got the Opera TV store, with, which lets you, uh, which lets you download applications for your smart TV or for your uh, Blu-ray player, depending on the model that you have. You know. So I've got 
By the way, I'm, I'm connected to the internet, so I think you need the internet connection to do this. You've got the internet browser, and all also everything depends on how fast your internet is. There you go. So I've got Google there, and you can always, uh, you know, change websites. So you've got the input here, which I haven't used. Uh, you've got the HDMI 1, HDMI 2. I'm using the HDMI 3, which is an adapter to connect uh, basically my DVD Blu-ray player to the TV. TV audio. Okay, we've got video here. Search internet video. Basically, if you want to search your video on the internet, you can just click that and then start searching. You've got different web different methods of searching through the internet which you'll see now there you go so you got video search I've got the avatar blu-ray inserted I'll show that to you later I've got my iPod USB video limited same as the one I showed you earlier you've got quick Flix. you need to be registered to use that too you got movie uh, you got crackle which lets you watch uh, free movies on TV series, but then uh, a lot of them are quite old. Beagles, which you have to pay for. And these are just some local Australian channels, because I'm obviously from Australia. So you've got ABC, SPS, 7, 10, and then Music Concert Channel, Billabong, Vice, Sydney Morning Herald, and basically you can see what they've got there. All of these, well, most of these are free, and then, like what I said, some of them you have to pay for, like the, like the Wiggles, and the Sony ones. So you connect to all of this via the internet. Video Detective lets you watch uh, movie trailers, and then you can also get some podcasts. Uh, let me just play something to show you. Let me have a look. So. Let's say it will connect to YouTube. There you go. So that's it. Uh, featured. Let's see what comes out. So yeah, depending on what, which one that you, you know, which one you choose, you'll see different videos. Just a sample, and uh, uh, if you're curious, like what kind of movies you can get from the crackle, so I'll show you. I just don't want to waste a lot of time showing you all of those videos, so that's why I'm just going to show you a few things. Crackle movies. So you can see they're quite old. But you can watch them if you want to. I remember Idle Hand, so let's have a look. There you go. Obviously, you can hear someone watching TV loudly outside, and you can totally beat that if you want to. So, FM tuning and FM preset for the radio. I haven't connected my, uh, my antenna, so I'm not going to show you that, otherwise, it's just going to be some noise. Uh, you've got the V tuner, which basically lets you listen to free internet radio. So you can choose by, by area, by genre. Uh, there you go. Let's have a look at the recently played. That's why 
went down already, or what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was somewhere in the States. Uh, if you got well, if you got some photos in your USB or in on my iPhone, uh, we can actually have a look at that if you want to. I'm not sure why this is getting dim, and this is just for the settings. There you go. So let's start watching some movies. First off, we'll try the USB. So, there you go. So you've got two USB ports, as I mentioned earlier. The USB one is connected to the iPod dock, actually, and the USB two is where my USB is connected. Okay, well, let's see, uh, this one from the USB, oh, no, sorry, yeah, from the USB port. I'll show you the actual Blu ray. And this can play uh, VCDs and DVDs too, and it's supposed to upscale those videos when you, when you play them on this player. Play something on the iPod. <coughs> now this isn't connected via HMI, so you have to go to video. I think that's it for my demonstration. So that's it for me in my video. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions that you guys had in mind. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to ask me about, just feel free to send me a message or uh, make a comment on my page. And that's it.